Okay, so I've had a few requests asking me to show how to include the navigation bar in the expanding and shrinking views. So I've made this very quick tutorial. It goes on from the last one, which you can find a link to in the description. You basically need to follow the last one, get all the way to the end, and then this is, you know, like a 60 second job to add the navigation bars. So what I've done is I've done an instructions file for you, and you can download it from the description. And I'm just going to be showing you how to go from the number one app that we did, the first one, using the instruction file and to implement the navigation bar to end up with something like this. So, as you can see, it's just kind of the same as the Facebook app. They got the navigation bar. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, we need to go into what we made last time. So, open that up. And... In the instructions file, it will explain what to do, but I'm just going to show you uh, on the screen. So we're going to open main window.xib. Just double click it and it will open an interface builder. You want to click here on the navigation controller so it's selected. Then on the right in this window, you make sure you're in the first tab, so navigation control attributes, and check the box shows navigation bar. We turned that off when we did the first video. Then you can save and close it, and then go into the instructions file. And it tells you you need to add this line of code to the first view controllers .m in the view will appear function. So I'm going to put it there. And what do I want to call this view? Well, it makes sense to call it first view. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. And to be honest, that's that's just showing you what it should now look like, which it does. And this is the last thing to do: copy and paste this code into the dot m of each view so I've just done it into the second dot m the third dot m and what do you want to call it? well I'll call the second one second view the third one third view that is it it's now done if I save and build and run then you'll see we've just got what I showed you a minute ago that that's it. That's really simple. Now the Facebook app, the thing at the top doesn't change. It just stays on Facebook. So you could do it like it would just be like this. You just have the same uh, word in each one, I think, and then it will be should look the same as the Facebook app. Obviously, you're not going to make a Facebook app, but you can use this approach. So now that's kind of what they have. So I probably should show you how the code works. So if I quickly close this now, in the first view.m, all we're doing is setting the title to Facebook. That means that uh, the navigation bar at the top will have the word Facebook in it. The main code you really need to know is in the second view. The set title is the same, but we're also hiding the back button, which would automatically appear. Now let's say we don't do that, so I'll comment that out. Then you'll see what happens is we get the little left arrow at the top allowing us to go backwards. But we experience a problem, which is that happens. And in the Facebook app, they don't have a back button. They have, you know, the thing with the grid. So you could do that instead. But you have to put in this line to hide the back button to stop it doing that. And, yeah, and then that leaves us with this, which is much better. So I hope that helped a few people who wanted that. Please leave any more requests that you want in the comments or send me a message. Thank you.